So Taika Waititi has a new film, Jojo Rabbit. I mentioned this movie in my best of 2019 list, saying that I'd watched the movie and if it came out in the UK in 2019, it would have been on the list. I have seen it again since then and my opinion on it has only improved. I really love this movie and I think it's one of, if not Taika Waititi's best movie to date. For those who don't know the story, the film is about a devout young Hitler supporter called Jojo who discovers his mother has been hiding a Jewish girl in his walls. This leads him to have to completely question his beliefs with the help of his imaginary friend Hitler, played by Taika Waititi himself. Right off the bat, this may seem like a really ridiculous movie, and straight up, this is one of the most ridiculous movies I've ever seen. But that over-the-top and silly star does a great job of removing all the power and horror caused by Hitler and the Nazis. The movie comedically portrays Nazis in a way that parodies just how stupid and ludicrous they really were. And while I can definitely see it being something that offends some people, I think this is a movie that is very tasteful while being brilliantly satirical. Scenes where Hitler is portrayed as like a Jiminy Cricket character and comes on screen to really inspirational and happy music are some of the funniest things I've seen in the movie in the last couple years. YTT's script is absolute genius, managing to perfectly satirise these people while managing to remind you that they are also pretty evil. It's a film all about the human spirit and learning to accept all kinds of people no matter their beliefs, races or creeds. And it works really well not just because of the satirical comedy but because underneath it all there is an incredible heart to the movie. The third act is especially emotional and Waititi does a great job of directing a scene that after all the laughs can make you cry. There is one scene in particular that I thought was so incredibly emotional and well done it could have been taken from a serious holocaust movie like Schindler's List or The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. The film has fantastic performances from the entirety of the cast. Roman Griffin Davis as the title character is really great and there's never a point where you feel like you're watching a kid acting in his first ever film. He has a great comedic timing, he nails the darker scenes and he easily gives one of the best performances in the film. Scarlett Johansson is great as well, giving one of her best performances, which is pretty impressive considering she just gave another career best performance recently with Marriage Story. Taika Waititi is great as Hitler, all the other supporting characters are really great as well, including Sam Rockwell and Alfie Allen. I even liked Rebel Wilson a lot in this movie, which I'm still surprised by considering I really do not like her. Going into the movie, I was worried that this would essentially just be Moonrise Kingdom with Hitler in it, and although Taika Waititi is still very obviously inspired by Wes Anderson, I never felt like he was ripping him off throughout the movie. He has his own tone and style that I really love. I have yet to see Boy, but for the most part, I've really liked every film he's directed to date, and I cannot wait to see his next four movie. I think Jojo Rabbit is is one of if not his best movie to date and one of the best comedies of the last few years. I highly, highly recommend this movie. I give Jojo Rabbit a 9 out of 10.